guys, this is Uma from React to the K, and today I will be reacting to BTS Love Yourself album. I'll be skipping the first two tracks because I've already heard them. Otherwise, I'm pumped for the rest. Woo! Okay. All right. So, best of me. Here we go. When you say that you love me, then I knew it again. You want to manage it just one more time. That was the very first. Oof. Oof. I don't want to talk and miss something. The very first speech just kind of had me amazed, speechless. They really like triplets now. I like the acoustic piano, eh? Yes, that synth is definitely spicing up the melodic content. Hear that motion? Chromatic motion? More triplets. I kind of like how the chorus is a little bit more minimalistic than the verse. Because I feel like with the verse it kept layering up more and more and more, so then you would expect that really big drop, but then it kind of like took away a synth or two, if I remember correctly. But right now, like, the vocal melodies are sticking to, like, the same three notes. Nothing much is happening. It's the percussion and the synth that's carrying it forward. It's funny because right now I'm in the middle of having my musician ears on and having them off so I'm like switching between liking it and not liking it <laughs> like one second I'm just like uh, and the next second I'm just like I like the overall aesthetic with I don't know it seems like the synths that they used my silence um, are pretty scratchy but the overall halftime, yes, um, the overall feel isn't that scratchy. Like the vocals are pretty gentle and smoothy. Even the rhythms, just switching between duple and triple. Yeah, overall, I think it's just like a very well done song, but very generic. My favorite part of the song is the the vocals. And that synth at the beginning was really cool because it was really unexpected, but they kept using it, or they, they're they continuing to use it, and it's just becoming a little bit boring to my ears. Like if they kept changing it up, that would've been cool. Ooh. I kind of like how they're ending the song with how they started it. Uh, can you say it? Can you? Crunchy chords in the piano. This time, definitely not acoustic. Oh, it might be just be a synth, not a piano. In my opinion, it isn't my favorite thing, but they're using a very similar style of synths and overall structure of a song and like just little uh, rhythmic patterns through all the songs so far. Uh, DNA, Best of Me, and this one. Because with their Wings album, every single song was completely different. Completely different styles, and that was because it, they were solo songs, you know, different styles for every member, but this one is just like all the same. Which is like EDM, party, I, I'm not good at genre, naming genres, but it just it sounds all the same to me. Like very not creative, the melodies aren't doing anything crazy. Like that part's so cool, the I can't sing. I really really like it. Whenever just like any 
any musician use that uh, type of like spazzing synth in the background and like these acoustic congos <laughs> I like them nice boy um but it's interesting to be they had like a the acoustic percussion with the synth percussion. I don't know what to think about that. Like, they're definitely creating a new sound with that. What does this remind me of? Oh, this reminds me of Mama Moo finally. Same. Same progression and same type of synth. It's that like marimba synth thing. I like that part. Yes. Songs do good things when <laughs> I mean songs are doing good things whenever they you know they have the beat and then they take it off. Talk take it out. And it's just so ethereal. This one with the vocal melodies, it's concentrated much higher in like you know their um, falsetto area because I remember in the first song the best of me I was talking about how like the melody didn't really go anywhere but this time it's not really going anywhere but it's oh it's doing it better because like it was really high I think it was Cookie or Jimin singing their falsetto and then now V was singing a little bit lower like DNA did a good job of using their different vocal ranges. Man, just change the melody more. Don't just switch octaves. I think I'm just craving a lot more chromatic motion. In this song, I would have loved a tempo change. Because right now, the, like this, this whole song is just. And like when I when I'm when I'm critiquing music, I'm just saying that like. When comparing it to classical music, nothing is happening, but it doesn't mean that the song is bad or anything. I feel a lot of people think I'm saying music is bad when it doesn't happen. Like, if I'm being a stuck-up musician, yes, it's bad, but like, it's a good, catchy song. It isn't like it's a flop or anything. It's, it's good, it's just I'm being really critical. <laughs> the background vocals. Best part of this song for me. Whoa, that was really weird and cool. <laughs> oh, speech. Oh, that's cute how they added this into the track list. Love yourself. Were they? Were they? Were they? They were hinting at their next album, weren't they? Okay, come on, mic drop. Hard rock, is that you? Oh, rap song. Hello. Ooh, Phrygian. Hello. Yeah, they use the best samples for their rap songs. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting this. Wasn't expecting it to actually have singing in it. Okay, this is like my favorite song of the album so far. Cause you can do so much with melody when it's in a mode. It's, this is this is good shit. <laughs> yes, this is what I mean by variation. Oh ho 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 hello. This 
slowing down that synth, like, please mess with tempo, please mess, I just said meth, I meant mess, <laughs> mess with meter, please. Really strange, I feel like this could have more bass, maybe it's just my headphones, but I'm getting a lot, a lot of trouble right now with the vocals and not too much of the lower synth. Well, that, that, was, that was some good shit, I like that. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Kind of starts off. This style kind of reminds me of Acme. <laughs> Acme. Keep pronouncing it incorrectly. Now it's not like Acme. Flute. No recorder. Flute. <laughs> This is like dabbing music. It's it made really oh, that was intense. Really wants to make me dab. Man, this one and mic drop are just happy, angry songs. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm sorry, but you know, like the happy screaming. For right now, I feel like it's very stagnant. It, like, it started off really good. I love, like, the clips of the flute they're using, and the percussion was nice. But now it's just like they copy and paste the first half. Or copied the first half and then pasted it into the second half. Because I'm really, really bored right now. Like, the tempo isn't changing at all. So it's just... I really like that. The different things that they're doing with their voices, like I haven't, I mean, I don't usually listen to rap music, but like I feel like not many other rappers do these things too. So they're getting creative with like their vocal noises, vocal sound effects. Uh, Those low-key uh, vocal harmonies in the background, though. That might be- is that some Korean instrument? Because it doesn't really sound like a flute and it doesn't really sound like a recorder. It might be some sort of instrument that I really like this so far. I think definitely for sure listening to these songs with lyrics would enhance my experience because a lot of times, especially with BTS music, the lyrics make me appreciate the music so much more. This whole album so far I'm just kind of, I think it's just a personal cup of tea thing. But so far nothing like too crazy musically happens, like there are some really nice things happening for like a few seconds of a song but it just either repeats too much or it doesn't continue. Like this jazz guitar that started off this, or not guitar, sorry, like the, the jazzy synth pads that they're using. It's really cool, but it's just the same thing for the rest of the song. And I get a little bit bored of it. Yeah, this song has some really nice chords. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love it whenever BTS uses that synth or that patch or whatever it's called. This is Sugar who uses it in his music a lot. That was cool. Yeah, uh, whoever produced these songs did some really cool things with like changing up the voices and use of different synths. Really cool sounds. Oh, okay, he's spitting fire. Ooh, yes. Good chords, but use more of them. More different ones, not the same exact ones over and over and again. Boom, okay. Um, sorry I'm so not energetic. It's... None of these songs were my cup of tea, so it's hard to get energized when you 
don't really like something. Um, so overall that album, when I'm like in my critiquing mode, my thoughts about it are... Eh. Okay. Like, I mean, I, keep, I know I keep saying this, but like, solid songs, I wasn't disgusted by any of them. Uh, I think they did a really good job producing it. They did some really nice things with weird synths and they edited the voices to sound really cool and... And yeah, thanks for watching this first listen. I'll see you guys later. Bye.